look forward to my Saturdays, especially when I know you will be with me on the white carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. So tonight, a number of issues will be engaging our attention on the show. It's been 10 years already since that fateful dawn when hip life artist Terry Bunchaka passed to eternity. We'll be talking about Terry Bunchaka here on the white carpet and celebrity couple Easy and Kita splits. For what reason, we shall delve into the speculations. Um, and also, as some couples are splitting up, well, comedian Fanny Face is set to marry his longtime fiance. Uh, the name is Nanadra. <laughs> so, well, as usual, my gossip self, I'll be asking, probing, nosing into that one. Stay with me as we probe deeper into these issues on the white carpet brought to you by Kind Ketsi of Etel. <laughs> Welcome back to the white carpet. You can drop your views, comments, opinions through WhatsApp and the number is 0267 844 024. So it will be on your screen. You can WhatsApp your comments all of us to us. So my lovely costume is by Sparrow Couture. Sparrow Couture is at Shiashi. You can reach them on 0244 792 532. You can reach Sparrow Couture for a similar one or other beautiful clothing they have in stock. So let's now take a look at what's happening around town. Beer lovers are being given a treat at La Palm Royal Beach Hotel in a beer festival dubbed Oktoberfest. So it is the only beer festival in Ghana with a 12 musician orchestra from Germany. The festival was launched last night and it continues tonight as well. So you can join the expatriate community and Ghanaian friends for the first edition of Oktoberfest Accra at the La Palm Royal Beach. Here's a piece for you. If there is any place so peaceful and special in the world, I would say that place is in Ghana. That is why the country is always playing host to people from all over the world. In an open space at the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, most Germans living in Ghana came together to celebrate the, the popular Oktoberfest Accra. All Germans outside their homeland have scheduled a particular day to celebrate the Oktoberfest. Patrons in Accra had good music to help them savor the Ghanaian Beer Club. Can keep your comments coming through. The number again is 0267-844-024. Drop your comments, opinions. Um, for instance, where you're hanging out at, you can let us know, and you never know, our camera may find itself there with you, chilling out. But we will be hanging out with one Ghanaian sexy saxophonist who has been on top of his game for so many years now. I'm talking about Steve Beatty. Um, he, in fact, he actually came with the saxophone, so you get to find out a lot about him and saxophones right here on the white carpet. Um, Steve has been, a he's been in, on a series of um, concerts and backed musicians um, like Kabna Kabna or Chiame Kwame. Um, if, if, just in case you don't know who a saxophonist is, well, um, some, some people might see and still mistake it to be um, a trumpet, but it's not a trumpet, it's called a saxophone. Smooth, and he is a contemporary saxophonist. Um, eventually, when he gets here and he starts blowing wind into that um, musical device, you realize that yeah, probably I did not even talk well about it enough. He really is on top of his game. But um, before he really gets here, he is a celebrity hang uh, who will be hanging out with on the white carpet. I again will be talking um, to an actress, in fact, it's a very talented, sexy actress today. It's all about, um, you know, smooth people coming here. But before I do hang out with her, let's just give you a small playback of Steve Bailey's works on the um, music market. This is my favorite song, which I wrote this year, called You Are My Desire. Everybody has something called desire. Well, you're all my desire tonight. I wish to be performing to you every blessed day.
motto, um, music they say is food for the soul. If your soul is not fed yet, don't worry, very soon it will be fully fed. Um, we, we focus in on trending in the entertainment industry and I have this African beauty and young talented Ghanaian actress with me in the studio to talk movies. She's Martha Ankoma and she's right here on the white carpet. Martha, welcome. Thank you, darling. Um, you, you just, uh, you described your new role in Lila Jansi's A Trip to Hell as phenomenal and worth sharing, an experience worth sharing. Well, we did a small story, so I'd like us to just play back that story and when we come back, would we'll take it from wherever we left off. Okay, darling. The sexy actress who has been missing from our screens for some time now is a lead character in a new thriller called A Trip to Hell, directed by Leila Jansi. The movie was shot in Ho in the Volta region of Ghana and has a lot of suspense. Martha, who is very excited about her lead role in the movie, says she is glad to have worked with Leila, adding that it is an extraordinary experience worth sharing. The movie, A Trip to Hell, is expected to be released in December. Here you go. Well, so uh, that is the Ghanaian talented. She says she's just Martha. She doesn't want any um. Do we call it sexy Martha yeah. Ankoma? <laughs> But you know, uh, you don't like it, but um, when you, you, there's an article out there actually that says that when the men see you, they go gaga. Wow, you're telling me. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, but you look sexy. You are sexy. You're very pretty and I all that. I just look like you, my dear. Are you sure? <laughs> Once I look sexy, I look like you. <laughs> But let's just um, recount some experiences in your movie career. I'm taking it from your very latest role with Leila Jansi. Is that a lead character role you got? Yeah, it was a lead role I got. Yeah. I see. So how was the experience like? It's exciting working with Leila. She's a great director. Mm -hmm. She's very good. If Leila wants something, she makes sure she gets it from you. I see. Yeah. She's very, very professional. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Mm. So you, you, you didn't feel like, um, she, okay, anyway, you have a small experience with Nafti, so you, you are used to take one, take, take two, take three. A lot of shots, yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah. of shots. And it happens on other sets too as okay. well, not just Leila's mm. set and all that. But Leila would have to take a lot of shots because he, she just wants something right to be done. Yeah. And you just have to do it. So you don't have to complain when you're taking a lot of shots. Mm -hmm. It's not like our normal Guinean movies that we shoot and the director comes from a long shot, medium shot, and a CEO or something, then you know, okay, as a three or four takes, you'll be done. Leila can take like, six, seven, eight, and trust me, she wants the best for me. That's why she's doing that. I see. Um, Martha started from um, where? Fun World. Fun World. It's a fun world, is that it? We are the fun, 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 fun show. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, has this been your dream? Are you living a dream yet? For now, Mm -hmm. Not really, because I really want to get to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I Trust see. Me. I want to see myself shooting a movie with Steven Spielberg. Oh yeah. I want to see my. I want to see myself being directed by Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know him. I know yeah. him. Yeah. I want to see myself being directed by. Um, Tyler Perry. I oh really yeah. want to work with Tyler Perry. I love you your know. dream. Big dreams. Big dreams. You've got to yeah. dream big anyway. So, yeah. I mean, I think it's working. I'm sure with time, God will mm. just put me up there. Yeah. So, I, I think I'm on the right stage and now. Following through your, um, your, your progress, you really have been to, through a series of, you know, developments. Um, your, your, you entered into a competition. The next uh, yeah. uh, Africa Stop Mo um, what? Next movie star. Next movie star. Shaquem Ferret. Okay. How did you fare there? Oh. I wouldn't say it's challenging, but trust me, when you're working with Nigerians, you need to have a lot of guts. Mm. You need to be very, very patient, and you have to learn a lot from them, you know. Mm. Sometimes people like you, sometimes the people might not like you, but you are in for a certain reason, you're in to achieve a goal. So why don't you just achieve your objective and just move on? Yeah. Sometimes, it, it's not easy coming up, trying to get into the industry with people worrying you. I always say this when I go on interviews. Most of the time, directors and even producers would want to take advantage of you. But trust me, it's, it's really true. Not. Yeah, it's happening, mm, you I know. See. But I always say this to people, don't give up. Just have faith in God and know that you are good at this and you can do it. Mm. If you know that you're going to give yourself someone to be an actress or to be a star, forget it. It's not going to happen. It wouldn't happen. It's only God who created stars and he knows how to make stars. Yeah. He knows the stars that will shine, trust yeah. me. You so you're thinking, just already. <laughs> I am. So you're thinking you're giving yourself to someone to put you on that platform, yeah. forget it. But it's not been easy but trust mm. me God has been faithful that's yeah. beautiful uh, Martha, let's, uh, um, quite a number of your colleagues um, actors have turned producers some have branched off to magazine production um, what have you branched 
into if you have any way at all? Well, I am into beautician now. I, I have see. a big salon at Tessano. Oh, yeah. I just went to Caldo. Ah. <laughs> it's a <unisex laughs> salon. You be very specific there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see. We do everything, trust okay. me. We do everything from head to toe, you know. Yeah. Massage, braiding, So your hair is coming everything. from your own salon? Yeah, from my salon. Ah, yeah. And I think I'm looking pretty. You are, my yeah. dear. You should you try are. one of those I things. Will. Come for a treat. I, I hope you have something from natural hair. You will love it. We could twist mm. your natural hair and you will look like. Wow, I guess next week I'll come with your hand. I'll be expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> I see, but let me just play it out to here. How much does it cost to do washing? <laughs> just five cities. Oh, that's it's not expensive. Yeah. And blue drying is like eight cities. I haven't cities. had that figure in a long while, you know. You should come. I will. I will come and try that. You said that Tessano, right? Tessano. I just said Caldo. Caldo. Casa okay. Maza building. Mambi Plaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, we'll have to do <laughs> some girls, girls from there. <laughs> but are you naughty? <laughs> What's your, what's your next dream after Leila Jansi? What's your next biggest dream? You've told us your dreams already, but which one are you I, I I don't really like saying this. I'm just praying about it, but trust me, I really want to build a studio. Yeah. yeah. What kind of studio? A TV studio. A TV you know, studio. And turn it into a TV Christian TV station. Yeah. Yes, yeah, into a Christian TV station. I should be your first I, I want, At the age of 35, I'm very young now, by the age of 35, I want to employ like, let's say, 50 people. How many I just want to be now? going for board meetings. I, I'm very young, so I just have to calculate. <laughs> I just want to be going for board meetings and all that. And yeah. I'll say, okay, next time if you don't work hard, that thing will suck you, but try and yeah. discipline yourself and all that. Yeah. So I'm working towards it. It's not, it's not easy, but I'm I working know. towards that dream. Mm. Yeah. Martha, it's been refreshing chatting you up on the white carpet. Thank you, darling. Thank you, you so look so much. pretty. Oh, thank you, Such Martha. I'm blushing underneath my don't black Don't tone skin. your skin. <laughs> it's, it's becoming too common in this country, so you please don't yeah. do that, okay? No, I'm not. Uh, probably I'll just pick it from you. Mm. Thank you so much, Martha. You're welcome, Dad. Yeah. So we've been hanging out with Martha and Koma. Yeah, the next boss to drop very soon in town. He should be employing, and you know, when you're not working hard, you go like, well, I think we've got to suck here. You're not working hard enough. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so that has been the Ghanaian young, talented um, actress who has dreams, and she really is climbing up the ladder. And very soon you'll be hearing from her from Hollywood, yeah? So that's Martha and Koma for you up in a moment. Hmm. The sexy, smooth saxophonist, the contemporary saxophonist, will be on the white carpet with me. So please don't go away. Stay with me. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Um, let me just give you the life you here, even before I'll introduce him. So, um, Steve, let's go. <laughs> okay. I'll just do something that you've all listened to already. to the white carpet. Thank you. That was smooth. You are so passionate at it. I, I, I really, really love what I do. Yeah. And um, I just don't do it in two ways. Just one way. The hard way, the only way. Yeah. <laughs> You're smooth at it too. How I many try. years have you been doing this? Um, for 15 years. Yeah. Yeah, for 15 years now. 15 long years. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's not too common to find this in Ghana. Few people have really grown with it. Um, how did you get into it in the first place? In fact, I got into this um, in, a very, in a very funny way. Um, I was watching, then I was quite younger, you know. I was watching TV those days, the black and white TV, and I saw somebody play. Yeah. Then I was, you know, learning the trombone. So when I saw this man play the saxophone, one thing that fascinated me was the shape of the saxophone. Yeah. 
I, I don't think I've come so close with one like this before. I, I, I just feel like trying it, but my lipstick was so good tripping. You may not be able to play yeah, again. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's how it happened, and uh, I fell in love with the instrument. Yeah. Kept searching for it until one day I found it. I see. And that was it. When I got it, I knew it. I knew it. That this is what I wanted to yeah. do. And this, this is what you wanted yeah. to romance with. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, when you hear saxophonist, you are compelled to say saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people call it like yeah. that. You know, the saxophonist. Yeah. You know, I see. Yeah. I see. So um, you, you have done w um, with using your saxophone, you've mixed for Ochiame, Kwabna Kwabna, Kujuenchi, all the names just lie. Yeah. I yeah. mean, quite a number of them. Um, yeah. But we don't seem to really see you with them. Um, how are you able to do that? Is there a studio you record with or you, you just prefer to be in the background? Um, with just your sound out? Well, I love working in the studio. Mm. So um, anytime this um, top stars call me, I just go to the studio and then we, we do our work. I see. Sometimes they do invite me to perform live with them. Okay. And uh, gladly, because yeah. I, I, want, I want to roll with them. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, so I watched you at the African Legends with Hugh Masakala. Yeah. I watched you at the Versatile show, yeah. opening the, the, sh the whole show. Yeah. And I, that's when I also fell in love with, wow, you, yeah. you, you do it so smooth. In you fact, um, it's my life. It's yeah, me. I you know, uh, I don't really differentiate myself from the mm. saxophone, because you see Steve, you see the saxophone. Yeah. You see saxophone, you see, you see, see. So And you have been on the international front as well, not just in Ghana yeah, here. Yeah. Um, how have you played internationally? In fact, um, I would say the, the whole thing is yet to happen mm. because those ones are, um, I would say, pre preliminary. Pre yeah, yeah. Prelims. yeah, the prelims of it, just to you know, get myself into tune, get to meet people and you know, work myself out how mm. to get up there. So um, the best thing is yet to happen. Um, soon I'm going to be having a tour, a U.S. tour this year. Yeah. Talking about this in November. Okay. You know, in New York and New Oklahoma York, okay. City. So, like I said, yeah. The best and, and the best is yet, yet to happen. happen. Yeah. And I know the applause out there is louder than what we have in Ghana yeah. here. But how have you been able to integrate and been accepted in the Ghanaian society? Well, if you listen to my music, the way I create my music... I love My Desire. Yeah, My <laughs> Desire is a very, a very classic tune. Yeah. You know, I, I, I create my music in a way that those outside the country or those from the West mm. will, will love it. Okay. Again, I don't forget my roots. Yeah. I'm a Ghanaian. Sure. You know? So the Ghanaian rhythm has to be refined, played in a way that they don't really find it difficult to listen to, mm. or to it, but then it just, you know, takes them smoothly yeah, into it. I so see. when you listen to Desire, it has a very smooth move in mm. there. And yeah, it's all about trying to get a lot of, you know, those in the West, you know, to listen to the music yeah. because Ghanaians, excuse me to say, we are very small. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And jazz music is now brewing in Ghana. Mm. Yeah. So, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be disappointed if maybe over these years I have only 10% of Ghana. Yeah. It's still going to build up It'll anyway because they're yeah. loving it. Sure. They're loving it. Uh, before we go on with this conversation, just give us a feel of my desire. Whoa. <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jazz <laughs> even more than I used to. You really need to love jazz. You know, yeah. Jazz will keep you young. I am told that um, saxophonists mm -hmm. and jazzy people are so romantic. Well, there's been that that thing, that aura around yeah. it. But then, um, 
I think the instrument do it does have you know um, an effect mm. you know on every every player. Okay. You know, not necessarily the saxophone, but any other instrument has an effect on the okay. player. So saxophone is a very romantic instrument. It needs to be touched like a woman. Kissing it all exactly, over. Exactly, yeah. all the time. You know, <laughs> I call mine she. Yeah, you know, of course. People ask why I don't have a specific name, but I just call her she because yeah. she's a woman. Mm. And uh, for me to get her to make all these sweet notes and sounds, mm. you know, I need to know how to, you know, Let's just apply it that to your life. Um, do you have a woman in your life? Are you married or a girlfriend? I'm not married yet, but I have a woman in my life. So you really know how to press a kiss on her to make her fall in love with you all over again each day well, of your life? <laughs> yes, I think that has to be the whole thing anyway. Yeah. Because um, you just have to keep the thing alive. Yeah. Yeah, so uh. um, outside the music, you know, you still have to... Mm. Be a man and make sure you love your your lady and mm. do whatever you can to, yeah. to, to keep things going. <laughs> so it's still like that. You know. I see. So um, which part of Ghana do you come from? I'm a Volterian. Okay. Yeah, I I'm see. from Deno precisely. Nya bro. Yes. Like a... Melinye. Oh, like <laughs> 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 All right, Steve. Um, it's, it's been beautiful talking to you. I have, I, myself, I hadn't really... Um, come directly in contact with like i said Whoa. with the saxophone and it's it's really wonderful it's a wonderful feel you know really is really yeah is. and i love really your shirt it's beautiful so it's true african so day yeah you so much. and you're looking pretty today. oh thank you yeah. today I, I just keep blushing underneath my black skin huh? really? imagine yeah <laughs> just because of the saxophone <laughs> <laughs> so, um, before I just start company with you, uh, could you just give us a last treat of the, um, to the saxophone? Okay. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay. A new song. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's uh, a song that says, Do you love me? So, Steve, do you love Steve? I love you, Steve. I love you, I love you and your saxophone. <laughs> 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 Thank you, you so much, you. Steve. But you. What are we watching out for? Um, I know you still do an album compilation. Yeah. Um, you have one out. Yeah. What's the title? Uh, the Singles Jazz. Singles yeah, Jazz. Yeah, Singles okay. Jazz. The second one that I'm going to launch out next year is uh, dubbed Shades of My Reality. Mm. You know, just trying to tell a story about how I started and where I've gotten to and what I'm made of. Okay. And Would that um, be in a concert form? Or? Definitely, definitely. Okay. And that's going to be next year. We're hoping to do it in March or probably April. Okay. Yeah, but then um, those in Ghana who will be traveling and all that, they should catch me live in New York City. Yeah. We have a jazz tour. And um, just come and let's 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 have fun. Yeah. And 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 put the name and the flag of Ghana up there. Up there. You know. We are all into That's all something that's all exactly. out there. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Steve, thank you so much. Thank you. It's thank been you. Thank you. Hanging out it's with been you. lovely and so sweet <laughs> being on the white carpet. Ah, <laughs> a pleasure. You need to bring me back. You know. I will. Because I, I have will. not really done enough. I know myself. Yeah. I haven't asked you enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, this has been a session with Steve Betty, Ghana's saxophonist. Um, very little, say, I, I've got very little to say about that because <laughs> I fed my soul. I hope your soul was fed too. So, um, in a moment, our critics will be on the white carpet to review all the issues. Um, Steve says he wants to come back, so we'll give him time to come and hang out with that. That day will be playing throughout. You'll be feeding your soul. You still on the white carpet, stay with us. So you still on the white carpet. This is the session where your critics get to probe, say it in blunt ways.
about all the issues that made headlines in the entertainment industry, especially in Ghana here today, would go a bit across our shores. So I am talking about your critic, Bertrand Nona Texan, and Francis Duku. Bertrand Nona Texan is it's an entertainment critic, and Francis Duku is an entertainment analyst. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so, no, we already did. So are we their yeah. critics, or we are, they are, we are your critics? Um, you are the analyst. I don't know whether you are mine or you, you are. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Then what have you done to your hair? You look pretty ah, different today. Going, man. Yeah. Rasta man is going bald. <laughs> <laughs> Rasta. <laughs> You read twisted? <laughs> uh, you don't yes, twist, no. You read. Did yes, it? I went to the salon. To ah, get how much did it cost you? And they don't charge me because they know I can't pay. So <laughs> 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 you live it on your stardom rate, sir. Uh, no, no, that yeah. one they would have charged me, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> ah, let's do it in a favor. You know, so the madman across the street won't come and bother me. <laughs> Anyway, it's been quite a week. Um, not many issues happening, but at least um, we marked the 10th anniversary of Terry Bunchak as a talented hip life artist. For me, um, even till now, he is a legend when we're talking about the hip life industry in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Memories of him? Yes, um, yeah, it's been 10 years, I mean, which means that uh, time has grown by very quickly. You yeah. Know, um, Remember that uh, I, I was then still writing, so I had I had had interactions with him, you know, even when he had started, you know, and uh, and so I think a day or two before he died, we even spoke, and uh, eventually that accident happened. So he's been a part of the growth of his life, you know, from the True. beginning, and uh, we had hoped that he would become a, a very big star but yeah. unfortunately he, he died at a very young age 21 years yeah he had yeah. just started but he had a lot of ambition and yeah. uh, you could see i mean the kind of music that he had written down that he hadn't even produced that yeah. um but it spoke of how he 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 had passion for you know what he had chosen to do yeah. unfortunately i mean god decides when we go and when we don't yeah. so he went early and they say that um, whom the gods want they call early or they die early or something like that so he, he went very early yeah, and he um, did. I think that if he had stayed on for long he would have been one of the greatest musicians would sure. have because you saw the potential yeah. and you saw the hard work that he put in even yeah. at that time so um, we still say that he may he rest in peace and we hope that he's still resting in peace even after 10 years yeah. Yeah, personally, he was one of the few people I um, really loved and um, actually saw a lot of originality in his craft. Exactly. You know, Terry wasn't one who would bore you. You know, there are some artists who come on stage and then they have their usual cliche, one finger yeah. in the air, <laughs> waving just like you don't care, you know. Yeah. Terry will not do that. No. Terry will perform whether you're appreciating him or not. And eventually, you tend to appreciate what mm. he's doing. Yeah. For a 21-year-old, I was very impressed with his maturity in the game, you know, because these are things that you get people like Jay-Z and Co, you know, doing putting in their all, apart from the big box they are signing for. But this guy, in spite of everything, was just actually doing so, so, so well. Um, my issue, I don't want to take it too much from, everybody is talking about the character Terry. Yeah. Um, we celebrate him, we salute him, condolences to the family. But I'd like to take it from his mother's angle. Yeah, we're saying somebody murdered the son. Exactly. The mm. transcript I have read over and over again. And I thought she was um, behaving a bit like Kwade's mother. Mm. Uh, you don't fault her for being so passionate about the child. Losing a child I know is not easy. I've lost a sister before who was 17 years old, so I can't sit here and say I do not know how she feels, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think she should also take it easy. This is a wound that nobody wants to go and, you know, uh, revive the head. Mm -hmm. It's gone. It's gone. At least the police was involved when the issue happened. The suspect was apprehended, taken to wherever, he was asked various questions. Is the they suspect the driver? Uh, I 
actually Terry was the driver. So who is the suspect here? The person he was with called Rasta, a certain okay. Rasta. Um, when the issue happened, all these things came up. According to the mother, the mother from day one said somebody killed the, the child. But my point is, when there's a murder, there's something called motive. Mm. Terry was worth more alive to Rasta than dead. Yeah. After all, they made shows or they, they played shows. He got Who was a lot Rasta of to Terry? His manager. Okay. You know. And why would he kill? Of course, I'm not here to establish the motive. But my point is, she shouldn't say go on and say those things. We the we guy was a end. good guy. Yeah. Let's yes. celebrate that we guy. We want to enjoy celebrating the memory. And then yeah. let's not go too much into murky waters, mm. you know. The last point, very quickly, is mm. that she said uh, that death wasn't natural. <laughs> of course, how did he die? Through an accident. That is not a natural death. <laughs> So please, Terry's mom, mm. I think you should take it easy. It's painful though, yeah. but um, we want to... Uh, nobody wished him dead. We all needed him alive. I remember that fateful dawn. Oh. I, 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 I to, uh, not asleep. Then the radio comes around two, thereabout. Between one and two. And his songs are kind of mobile songs, you know. Yeah. You know, so you hear his song, you it's hear he's dead. You know, like Michael Jackson and yeah. all you hear. Uh, you, you, well. you, you watch him, you know, you watch <laughs> him and you, you're like, wow, this guy is really gone. He's well, really gone. but you never understand life. Mm. Anyway, so may his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. So that's um, Terry Bunchaka's 10th anniversary. Well, moving on, Easy and Kita. They have split. Celebrity couple splitting. This is gossip, gossip. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> did you, I can't did wait you? to hear what I was going yeah. to say. Did you, you ever imagine that. Um, no, did you ever imagine that relationship was never going to work out? Well, was there a relationship in the first place? You think there was no relationship? I don't know. I mean. <laughs> you, th you thought it was for the cameras? <laughs> well, I. To be honest, I thought it was for Big Brother. I thought it was for the initially. The initially. Um, and I think that they've shown even after that that well something that did exist. What I think in each day <laughs> several hundred so it's very not rare thousands, occasions you know. that you see this man struggling to speak. Yeah, I mean the point know, very rare that occasions. <laughs> relationships break <laughs> up all the time. Gossip, but I'm know. telling me it's part of life. You're pushing it there. <laughs> <laughs> relationships break up all the sure. time. So I mean, this is just one of the many relationships. I'm sure that broke up on the same no. day. <laughs> but you see, in, the, in their case, um, I, we all never, well, quite a number of us never knew about that relationship until they entered the Big Brother house. And then we were told all of a sudden that they had been even before they entered ah. there. And with all the, they made out in the house, they said, yeah, it's, according to Sally's, we are borrowing Sally's um, term, they made out mm. with all the, Things moose <laughs> sounds that you may have they come across. They, they, that they simulated. <laughs> ah, that mm. one is simulated. They, they, they are one was simulation. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's ab about them. Um, did you ever? Okay, so you think there was no relationship? Did you ever? Think no, I mean, I think that even if there was, mm, it's normal. I mean, relationships break up all mm. the time. Big deal. I think it's been a big news this week, but yeah. to be honest, I, I didn't really pay quite attention. No, because, because you, you see, know, you remember when in the house, um, <laughs> I think when Mildred came out, Izzy yeah. came out and she, she had made certain utterances and everybody was like, so now that Keita is not coming with the money, yeah. are you going to continue to love and stay with him? Or and, are you she going said yes. and she said yes. Yeah. And I think some people picked up and went, Reggie came in and said, they are still going out. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah and it's been... They yeah, of course, and they stayed together. It's been over a year yeah. since they came out to the Big Brother house. So they have so the license to break up? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah they break up. Mm. Everybody, some people do too. So, I mean, it's no big deal, <laughs> is no it? Big, no, 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 no. I mean, personally, you know, um, relationships are kind of funny, you know. When yeah. you're talking about it, you should be a bit careful, especially yeah. when you're not the one in the driver's seat. You don't know what. You don't, the, you, yeah. you don't know what is going on. I mean, let's not mince words. Big Brother takes a toll on relationships. Mm. It does. Whether you went in as a couple or you went in single and then met somebody like Beverly's case. Look at Angelo. What is he possibly going to explain to his wife or his fiancée? You went in there, you lost your marbles and then you did it with, the, with uh, Beverly who 
claims she's done it with so many men with no regrets and mm. for money. You know, look at so, Pokello. Look at Pokello who has a prepare. sex tape yeah. and then thought she could use uh, Elikem to cover. Oops, did I say that? Sorry. Um, no, no. Nah, <laughs> Don't worry, you, you know. <laughs> So this whole big brother thing is kind of funny, you know, yeah. but it's up to you to manage it very well. I think so far, Sally and um, Pratchett yeah, are doing very well. Mm. They are managing... You saw her dress? Yes, I saw her, the famous um, dress picture, yes. <laughs> I think she wouldn't be the only but, one. But again, I mean, yes, like I, I said earlier, I mean, this uh, Keita and... Uh, uh, Mildred mm. was a non-starter in the first. No, place. I mean it's been a year. Mm. I mean, so whether the uh, so whether um, uh, Sally and uh, will last. Well, will and last you know, for beyond that, and it's, I mean, <laughs> we'll see. But because this one has, but it didn't just end when they came out of the house. It's, it's been on for they like four on months. Months. Yeah. But according so, to some insiders, yeah. though, it had been on the rocks for a long time now. But mm. you know, they were kind of so managing. So how we know so, when yeah. the speculation came out first that they were not going to be together and Reggie came in and all that. They actually but that was wrong because mm. they they came out to say that they were actually in a relationship what business did we have to uh, judge do doubt that. to no doubt way. that you mm -hmm. understand and now they say they are no more yes what so now that they are no more and of course there's another <laughs> lady involved i don't know if you've heard that's tiny's ex-girlfriend Mildred is saying um yeah. she never said that oh that. she didn't say people said is it true? Yes. Well, I don't know. I'm just an entertainment <laughs> critic, so <laughs> I only am using conjecture okay. based on the but fact that you really said emphatically that it, they've broken up. Yes, she has. She has. Mm. Yes. Okay. On Twitter. No, but even I, I think I'm but very yeah, to yeah, I think he has a point. This because thing, the Twitter, Twitter is saw, what Reggie also. The Twitter you I know, saw was that I'm free. <laughs> and I'm, I'm single, kind yeah. of thing, but. Not to say that I'm broken. Categorically. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Okay, I'm that's what it means in the court. The court will say all those conjectures. Yeah, things. of course, of course. <laughs> Devoid <laughs> of hitting it directly. That <laughs> that's why I want to know. That she yeah. really said, granted an interview, or yeah. the other one has granted an interview and said, that, oh, we're no more yeah. going out. Or we're not going out anymore. That's a solid point. But knowing these two characters, especially Easy, I don't think Easy is that type of lady who will just be playing around. You know, if it was Reggie, perhaps you say maybe for publicity. But Easy, I think she has the marbles and she can come and say no. But my point really is, you know, these are two adults, right? Of course. Yes. And yeah. whatever decision they decide to take, that's their decision. That's my whole point. Mm. Exactly my point also. All so right. Personally, <laughs> I wish them well, you know. I thought maybe Keita was still doing the making out thing. I didn't think he was it. Because you know, <laughs> from what Maneta was offering and he kept turning Maneta down, mm. I thought he wasn't my enough. You know, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Next time they should see you. Oh, you. No, I didn't say that. I'm just reporting. <laughs> okay, so um, enough with this here, Kita. Um, yeah. Let's just, while well, some people are breaking up, funny face is getting set to marry his long time love, mm. Nanadra. Well, we're waiting for that wedding. We'll all be there. <laughs> but uh, you know Beyonce I don't know this, I'm bringing up Beyonce she because um, I just want us to just relate it a bit to our locals um, right. if they can also get to do things like that and how it would sell um, Beyonce has released her calendar for I think 20 is it this year 24 2014 mm. and already on YouTube you can't imagine the number of people the eyes that are popping there let's just yeah. play it back and then okay, sure. we'll take it from there <laughs> That's just a small piece of um, Mrs. Carter, the making of Mrs. Carter. And what I am trying to find out, why don't our local artists also try to, when what they are set to do, especially their music clips and all, why don't they do small packages and tease us with it and, 
you know, if you had something like that, mm -hmm. I think it whet our appetite. We looked forward to it. But that's just one out of the lot we have. How many people do it anyway? Mm -hmm. Well, how many people do it even globally? I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you take, I mean, we just seen Beyonce. I don't think that it's something that everybody does. Um, we haven't seen Jay Z's. We mm -hmm. haven't seen anybody else's. Um, so I think it's a matter of choice, you know, okay. how you want to uh, let the people, the people know what you want to do. Um, yes, I agree that there should be enough planning. I mean, at this point, um, this is November, we're just going to December. Yeah. And at least you know, at least if for nothing at all, the very first quarter of the year, you know, the major performances that will be on. But I think it's a bit difficult also. We know that in our part, uh, events come up you know in the year and events uh, get cancelled get, get cancel. yeah. yeah. we, we have problem with venues you know and all that so in a in a case where you don't you know you don't have that control over your it's so the, the vegetating factors are yeah. too many mm. it will be difficult i believe that we can have that long uh, mm. one year you yeah. know, structured thing so I it's see. it's a nice idea to do but I think that in our, in our circumstance, it will be a bit difficult. It becomes challenging. Now, are you having anything quickly? I, I concur 100% with mm. Francis. I mean, here you can't even plan with the currency. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody borrows you money, you're praying, oh, please pay in time, you know, because it's, it's quite difficult to plan. However, yeah. it's a very good idea. It's all about branding. Yeah. Uh, you should also be careful when you're doing these things because um, our star power is not so huge. Our market value for our celebrities here, we, Uncle Francis doesn't want to call them celebrities, <laughs> but since that's all we have, let's call it so. Some of them are celebrities. Oh, really? You're changing? No, no. he hasn't changed. No, he he changed has always said uh, we have very. Uh, he said quadrantry is for example, one. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Looking at their star power, it yeah. ends only in Ghana, mm. you know, beyond the struggle, except for a few Ghanaian communities in the various, you know, yeah. the continents and whatever. So it makes it very difficult to really put some of these plans there because these are huge things, you know. It's not. Ah, we wish them well. We wish yeah, them well. we, we do. Well. We really do yeah. wish we them well. Do. We hope they do. <laughs> yeah. we well, we look forward to greater things in our industry, to entertainment industry in Ghana. So, this has been the session with your critics, best friend, Nana Texan, entertainment critic, and Francis Duku, entertainment analyst. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming. Um, next year, I hope your titles don't change. Analysts <laughs> worldwide, critics, well, you can. Right. <laughs> So, it's been a lovely time with you on the white carpet, as I said earlier, my lovely costume is by Spero Couture. Um, just a few mentions here, Dan up here, today is your birthday, tell those two girls to prepare you hot tea to round up eating activities for the day. Mm. And then, um, Maran, you want shout out, so shout out to you, don't tell me to give you shout out again. <laughs> So my name is Gladys Osei Redu. As usual, you can catch a recap of the white carpet on Sundays at 9.30 p.m. right here on Joy News on Multi TV. It's been a pleasure, like I said, coming your way with the white carpet. Thank you so much for your time. Wait a minute, come on, Lika, catch your answer. I want to introduce my name to you. Mrs. in Casa for you, aka Lewe. I just got the senior of the Lee, Sia Lim, Consulate, Jackson, and Pastor Twitching. I want you all. That's how it's in India, but me and Mrs. Shane. You're born. Oh, we're a team in a woman, you wouldn't have born. Mamma, who is a team in a woman? They were up. No way. Man, no see before you will be a morning so. Yeah, one of my